All right, we are live. Natalie Parsons here. Thank you so much for joining us for the very fourth. <laughs> fourth virtual beauty party in celebration of Natty or Not Approved. It's a vlog that launched earlier this month that explores the movement of clean beauty. And uh, it's kind of very special that we have this particular company on with us because they are the pioneers as far as I'm concerned when it comes to the movement. We have Beauty Counters, Amy Varselli, coming to us from Ohio. Yes. <laughs> so tell us a little about yourself. So um, I live in Ohio, born and raised here. I have three children. I have a four-year-old, a two-year-old, and a newborn. Oh, wow. um, yeah, so busy, busy mom. I literally hopped on like 30 seconds ago. I'm like, okay, I can do this. <laughs> Kids are, you know, with hubby, I'm good to go. Oh, well, really? I want. Yeah. Um, so I am an ultrasound tech and I love to educate. My second career choice was teaching. So Beauty Counter has given me that educational avenue that I've been able to educate people on safer beauty, which education, like I said, is a passion of mine. So I am super happy I got to kind of do the best of both worlds with ultrasound medical field and uh, beauty counter educational field. So love it. So people who don't know anything about beauty counter, why don't you tell them a little bit about it? So beauty counter has been around for about seven years now. Um, we So the CEO, her name is Greg Renfrew. She, it's a female, her name's Greg. She is absolutely awesome. Just like a total awesome leader in clean beauty. And she just wanted something that was safe to use, but also, you know, effective so that you didn't have to compromise your health in the name of beauty. Um, so she did, you spent millions of dollars even coming out with like the five first products that launched. So um, it costs a lot of money. We do a lot of research projects. We're involved in Tuft University. Um, doing our own research projects, and we look at every ingredient. Ingredient we um, source responsibly. Um, we've grown so so much. I mean, just so much over the last seven years. It's insane how much we've grown. So clean beauty is definitely not a fad. It's definitely here to stay, and in the future, it's going to be all hopefully that we know. Um, mm -hmm. So Beauty Counter is definitely the leader, and we're the leader in sales and clean beauty as well as just how well we perform. We perform competitively amongst all beauty brands, not just clean beauty. Yeah. So I think that that's really big to point out. I'm glad you actually pointed that out because I feel like a lot of times you'll try, you know, we'll see like cleaner brands or whatever, we'll try them, quality will be crap, they won't yeah. work. And so when I tried Beauty Counter, I was particularly impressed with just yeah. how uh, effective the products were and the quality and the feel of them and, you know, all of that. Yeah. How did you first hear about them and how did you start trying them and all that? So my friend, um, she really wasn't like a good friend of mine at the time, but she just was an acquaintance basically. And she asked me in the middle of moving across town and literally pushing out my second baby if I would sample some beauty counter samples. And I was like, well, I don't know if now's a good time, but sure, why not? So I sampled for about three days. And, um, you know, it wasn't that I was like, oh, wow, I'm so in love after three days. But she started telling me things about beauty counter, like, hey, you know, you seem like a really healthy person. I know you work out. I know you eat healthy things. Did you know that the last time the government has passed a law was 1938, um, regulating any beauty products or regulating anything in the beauty industry? And I was like, no, I, I did not know that. That's 82 years ago. Um, That's mind blowing. Yeah, I mean, you know, 82 years ago, you can smoke in airplanes, smoke in businesses, you didn't have car seats for your children, you, I mean, you painted with lead on the walls in your house. And, you know, she started telling me these things. And I was thinking you can still put lead in your hair dye, which it's still in all of our hair color, by the way, unless you're in California. Um, it, you know, lead, you can just slap it all over your scalp when you color your hair, but you're not allowed to paint with it on within your walls, you know, but you're allowed to just slap it right onto your scalp, which is porous. It goes into your, you know, body. And so that just blew my mind. And I, I just had to get behind the company when she started telling me these things. So it's a $62 billion industry and there's one and a half pages of regulation. And I just have a serious problem with that. Um, That's we're, we're out to change it. Beauty Counter is not just another beauty company. We're, we march all the way to Capitol Hill fighting for legislative reform. 
Um, we definitely walk the walk, talk the talk. We were definitely going in all avenues and fighting in all avenues about this. Um, so like I said, we're researchers, we're education first based. We go all the way to Capitol Hill to fight for these changes. So we go above and beyond in the clean department for sure. If you see me turning my head, my, my, my old lady dog's probably misbehaving. But anyways, so let's just get right into it and talk about the products. Okay. Sounds good. So I know that you have started with Countermatch and you love Countermatch and I have seen your results and I'm super excited about that. Um, so those were the samples that mm -hmm. I heard. To anybody that interested, I can definitely send samples in the mail to anybody who's interested. I have mm -hmm. tons of them. Um, Countermatch, we can start there since that's what Natalie uses, but Countermatch is a really great line for anybody really um anybody up to the age of probably 50 i would say um sometimes younger i mean you could do teenage all the way up to 50 if you want even mm -hmm. i even have some like 60 year olds that use it because they like it so much oh, wow. um so you, you, it's a big that this is like my biggest seller usually is powder match because it's for most skin types um and it's gentle it's great for sensitive skin which natalie i know you have sensitive skin it's a nightmare. Um, <laughs> so, so do I. I have sensitive skin too. So it's known, we have a patent on this line for biomimic technology, and it actually changes the levels of like oxygen and moisture that your face needs throughout the day. Um, mm -hmm. So it actually like mimics like plants and like what it needs. If you go outside, if it needs to change a little bit, it can adapt to your skin. It's like crazy. So biomimic technology, we have a patent on the line for it. Um, so cool. So really great. I'm going to kind of grab my phone here and spin you around. So Natalie actually has, which is sad to say, but has the, um, the <laughs> updated bottles. I don't have them. So Natalie, oh. I'm I'll, I'll hold phone. mine up too. I'll hold mine up if I have to. Okay, but perfect. I have to say that um, one of the changes that you mentioned specifically to me was the cleanser. Initially, it was like this milk cleanser, yes. and they've since upgraded to the foam, which I yes. am a huge fan of. I felt like with the milk, like it's just so different than a typical yeah. cleanser. So I put it on my face, and I'm like, I just don't know if it's really doing anything. But yeah. when I tried the new one that's being sold, I was like, okay, this is cool. I'm yeah. a fan. And it's gentle. Like the great too. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, and I like that they added the toner because I think that that's huge in all lines. So, the toner now? Yeah, the so we've never had a toner on that line. This is like a game changer. Yeah, I know. Like you know, I posted a picture. I posted a picture earlier of one of the first um, like cotton rounds that I used. Yeah. Okay, I usually think I do a fairly decent job with cleaning my face, and I think it's clean until I use that, and then like I see all this gook come off, and I'm like. I guess I really wasn't that clean after all. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's a common misconception that like just washing your face is enough, right? Mm -hmm. And then you have to use the toner. And what that also does is it gets to like the way deeper layers of yes. your skin, which then the treatment step can sink into and just mm -hmm. do so much better with a toner. So mm -hmm. is it 100% necessary? No, but, but it's a difference. Salt, yes. Cause I used to not be a believer in toners. Like I used to think like, just like you said, I used to think they were a gimmick. They were just like another thing that you really didn't need. But when you use it and you see the difference, you're like, okay, I'm a believer. I'm going to stick with yeah, this. Totally. Yeah. Yeah. Is there a flip camera option on this app? Like, can I flip my camera around and reverse it or no? I don't see that on I'm here. But I'm, not, I'm not sure of that. Oh, um, okay. I've never done that. Sorry. I just don't know if I, if I can, we can see it. it. We can see it. We can see it. Yeah. So that's um, the old model. So what we have done is we've changed all of our bottles to glass bottles. These are actually legit glass. It has reduced so much plastic, like so oh, much wow. plastic. So um, the other thing that we've done with like our glass bottles is that they don't have seals on them. They're like locked. So when you first get them, they're kind of like locked so that, you know, it protects from germs and whatnot. They have like a lock function, but they don't have seals, which has also gotten rid of a lot of plastic. Oh, wow. Um, 
when we did have actual seals that you would like when you'd open something and you'd have to peel that, you know, those like silver yeah. seals, we actually yeah. third party test those and make sure that those are um, sourced responsibly. So, you know, the other thing with Beauty Counter is that we're all about um, sourcing things responsibly too. So like you can say all you want that you have vanilla in your products and that sounds great. It sounds natural, but where are you getting yeah. the vanilla from? So with Beauty Counter, we're making sure that we're getting that vanilla from a responsibly sourced place. So like, you know, we oh, actually wow. make sure that we go to these farms, see how they're being picked and make sure that they're sourced responsibly. So people have like mica, you know, and their makeup powders and stuff. And that's yeah. fine. That's safe. But it's all like child labor. So like you have to make sure you're getting the mica sourced responsibly so beauty counter goes that extra level to make sure who's making our products who's making our powders how are they being formulated are they being put in plastic bags or are they being put in burlap bags because if they're plastic bags and they're out in the sun all day that yeah. plastic's gonna yeah. leak into our products yeah. um another thing that, that beauty counter does is we post test every batch of makeup and products to make sure that they don't have any trace chemicals in them and if they do, for any reason, we pull it off the shelf and investigate why. We go to that source. We figure out, you know, what happened. Was the farm not participating? What were they doing? How were they pulling the crops? So it's like a really, it's a big step process. And I don't know any other company that's working that hard. That's to do amazing. Everything. Yeah. I so, didn't know that about Mika. So I'd heard of it. And I had kind of felt like, you know, you hear a lot about of it, a lot yeah. about it, but you don't really know why. And that's yeah that's, that's why it's a child labor thing so um we we have a whole like video on it that i can post and share with you oh, um, about our mica experience it's pretty sure it's sad but it's you know something people need to know about too yeah so, so <laughs> no go ahead yeah. you move on you go Moving to the next uh, favorite line depending on age and what you need in life is counter time mm-hmm amazing it is for mature skin but also for anybody who's experiencing fine lines and wrinkles um and those that's the sample pack i'd send you in the mail if you wanted it mm -hmm. counter time and by the way any product that you purchase you always have a 60 day no questions asked return so even if you use most of the product you can still return it if you don't love it um so this line is counter time again the glass bottles it has bakuchiol in it, which is a fun word to say, bakuchiol. Um, and it it is scientifically proven to work as well as retinol. Um, and retinol is really bad for your health uh, for many reasons. But one of the biggest is that it actually makes you age more. And it might reverse signs of aging at first. But the problem is that there's no protection against environmental stressors when you use it. So it actually attracts the sun rays more causing more aging. So that's kind of alarming. I like <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> retinol, you don't want to use that. You just don't want to use retinol. It's not good for you. You can't use it while you're pregnant and breastfeeding. Not safe while you're not pregnant and breastfeeding. Get rid of it. Move on to Bakuchiol. It's the newest science. It's a wonderful line. And it's and it's nine times out of ten cheaper than anything you're using with retinol in it. So that's why don't they put warnings on retinol stuff? I feel like at this point with what you just said, they should have warnings on it. Well, you know, they don't have warnings on it because legally they're not allowed to make any company. Legally, the FDA or the government is not required to put anything on any beauty label that's going to cause any problems. Um, there's no Annoying. legislation or no, so like if it's a known carcinogen, there's no rule or law that the FDA can go remove that product. So they can't legally recall those products because they don't have a leg to stand on in that aspect. Um, so it's kind calling. of scary. Uh, you know, I can like go outside of my house and like pick some mulch and grass and grind it up and say, number one pediatrician recommended, number one doctor recommended, put this on your face, hypoallergenic, it's wonderful, you know, and, and nobody can get me in trouble for that um, because it's not regulated. The beauty industry is regulated by one and a half pages it's, and it hasn't been updated since 1938. It's mind blowing. Um, so it, it's really scary. And you know, one thing that can help you guys out if you download the EWG app and the Think Dirty app, yeah. you guys will be able to find safer products if you don't choose Beauty Counter. I like Beauty Counter because I literally can 
pick anything off the shelf I want and know that it's safe. So that's mm -hmm. why I love Beauty Counter. Moving on. Well, here's something. So for those who don't know anything about the EWG, essentially it is a awesome resource because it rates products that you can find anywhere from either verified, which is the absolute best, all the way up to 10, which is the worst. And I mean, it's horrifying, the stuff that's in ingredients when you actually get reading. And I think the highest number that I saw with Beauty Counter is three, which is nothing in comparison to like Oil of LA, which is at like eight or other companies at 10. So yeah. I mean, but I'd say like 75%, if not more, maybe 80% of Beauty Counter products are within the verified range. Yeah, so we're all, we're, yes, yeah, so anything three or below is considered safe. It's in the green category of health and yeah. beauty. So anything three and below is considered safe. Our products will never go above a three. So they're three and below. Uh, but, amazing. you know, when I first started Beauty Counter, a lot of the things that I was even putting on my children were an eight and nine, you know. Um, most products average is a seven to a nine. So if you start just taking a look at your shampoo bottles, you know, turning them around, looking at the ingredients, just start looking mm -hmm. while you're taking a shower and just start being a little bit more aware because unfortunately yeah. it's not being regulated for us. There's no common sense law that we would think is there. It just doesn't exist right now. So why so, don't you tell us a little bit about the items with, okay, because I have a few questions about sure. the counter time because yeah. I started kind of like exploring it. Um, so one thing that I will say is about beauty counter serums are amazing as somebody who has sensitive skin and is horrified of oils, oils like clog me up, break me out. They're terrible, but their serums are like the cross between like liquidy to like a cream. So there's a little bit more to them. So they don't clog you up because they don't for me. So that's, that's what I'm going with. But, um, the cleanser for the counter time I was very impressed with because that yes. is an oil. I was a little scared about trying it but I, know, I posted pictures on my social media earlier and I show my the first picture yeah there it is the first picture I show is of me full makeup face and everything and you're supposed to put on your face dry and I'm like yeah. okay I don't really know if this is gonna work but okay I'll follow directions and the second picture that I show is me putting the um, the cleansing oil on my face. My eyebrows are gone. My lipstick, and I love lipstick, so I wear a lot of it. That was gone. And then, like, after I wash my face, like, a lot of cleansers irritate me. This one, I felt like it hydrated me, and oh, yeah. it left my skin so soft. Really I was beautiful. beyond I was beyond wowed. But then yeah. now you have to go explain to me what is the deal with the mineral boost hydrating essence? I don't know how to use that. What is it? Oh, <laughs> essence is amazing. It's like the new highest chic looking type of toner. So it's kind of a mix between, it's an essence. It's actually like a thing. Like the word essence actually means something in the beauty industry. And it's it's something that is a little bit lighter than a toner, but you don't actually use a cotton ball to wipe off. You actually you just, just dab the essence to your face. And this stuff smells so good. It mm -hmm. is very hydrating. It kind of has a cooling effect when you put it to your skin. Um, mm -hmm. And it goes really deep in your skin, in your skin layers, so that when you put the serum or the night cream on afterwards, it really just does wonders for your skin. So the essence, it also has anti-aging in it. So you're not okay. like, you know how with a toner, you're kind of wiping your face and like the toner kind of goes away. It's not really like staying on your skin. It's this like a serum. Staying on your skin, like an extra treatment step. So mm -hmm. it's a really good... Um, it's a really good treatment step as well. So it's a prep yeah. step, also treatment. So I absolutely love this stuff. Um, I, I can't get used to the fact that this is like a reverse camera, right? Like usually, do you feel that way? You know, I see it. I see it. You're okay. <laughs> yes, no, actually, actually, it's the right way. I'm seeing it like beauty counters spelled correct. So it's not reverse. Yes. So it's but not a lot reverse. Of it's, it's harder for your hand-eye coordination, right? <laughs> I put it up and I'm like, wait, I'm over here. <laughs> so if you were to actually put the essence on a cotton ball, you'd be doing it wrong. Right, exactly. You have to okay. dab it into the skin. And I actually go down to the neck too. So. Yeah, they say to go like all the way down here because over all here the people, down. we age there too. <laughs> we age here too, you know? Yes. Sure. Um, I mean, so then, I so will say, 
The little amount of time that I've spent with the counter time. Okay. I'm one of those people where I could tell whether or not an anti-aging is good by the, I call it a third eye in the middle of my eyebrows. That stupid, like expressive line. And it has like significantly gone away. Yeah. It tightens so the skin really well. It's impressive. Yeah. The eye cream is my favorite part of it. Um, for eyes. Like I love the eye cream. It gets rid of the crow like mm -hmm. really well. Um, especially under the eyes too. It's awesome. Does that um, go before the moisturizer or after? No, some people put their eye cream on in different it, it, you know, it doesn't really matter for me. Okay. I put it on after the serum. Um, but you could do whatever you want. Some people put it on last. It doesn't really matter because none of the other chemicals should really go chemical products should go under your eye. You should stop okay. all of your products here. Okay. So, um, not, it, sh it doesn't really matter. I just don't put my eye cream on first because I'm scared that I'll like wipe it away if well, I do something else. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. I try to do it somewhat last, like right after the serum. Okay. Point taken. Personal I'll problem. Do that. Take a note. <laughs> so moving on, if do you have any other questions about that line? I think we covered that line. I'm good. Okay. <laughs> good. It also has Swiss Swiss Alpine Rose in it, which um, protects your skin from environmental stressors. So there's actually a, like okay. even like, treating against wrinkles. You're also protecting against future age spots and wrinkles with the Swiss Alpine Rose. Wow. So that's a good good thing too. So moving on to our counter control line. This is for oily, acne prone skin. It's wonderful for teenagers who suffer from acne who want to use something safe because as we know, a lot of things on the market are not safe for even teenagers to use. You know, pharmacists will or um uh, dermatologists will put you on all this crazy stuff like Accutane and all of these crazy, horrible chemicals. Um, this line, my friend was on this line for a month and it cleared up her skin. She was going to the dermatologist and this was the only thing that worked for her. And it's like wow. amazing. She was spending so much money at the dermatologist. And then she's like, finally, I'll, Amy, I'll give this a try. And then she yeah. was in love. And those were the pictures I believe I posted on the Facebook page. If I didn't post them with you, I'll post them after this. Okay. Yeah. Um, so th this is an exfoliating wash. It smells so good. It's an awesome wash to use. Very exfoliating, very gentle though. So it's not going to dry you out. It also mm -hmm. comes with a toner, which is great to prep the skin for our all over acne treatment. The all over acne treatment goes on actually should be here. And then this is the mattifying gel cream, which keeps you oil free for eight hours. So you put it on morning and night so that you're not oily. It's like a mattifying gel hydrator so that you yeah. don't have a bunch of oil if you're oily. And then this is a spot treatment. Now I have been loving this. So I'm an ultrasound tech. So I've been having breakouts a little bit because I've been wearing a mask 24 seven on my face going to work. Um, yeah. so, you know, you just, you get, you get them here because you just do. I'm also mm -hmm. a breastfeeding mom. So this has Aww. been like my favorite thing because hormones are crazy. So, um, love the spot treatment. You can buy all of these products a la carte. So you don't have to purchase them as a set. However, um, when you buy them as a set, you get a discount. So you get a 10% discount when purchased as a set. New yeah. clients until the end of August get 20% off. So um, that's a big deal too. And um, if you become a Band of Beauty member, you get this free charcoal mask. Yes. I love this. Um, awesome. It's amazing. You can actually see it like going into your pores when you put it on. It's awesome. Yep. Natalie has it. And the color yeah. change. Yeah. And it balances your skin. It gets, it shrinks your pores. It's like super awesome. I love that product. So, um, then the last regimen I want to point out is the counterman because we can't forget our men. Yes. Yeah. They got to feel the beauty kind of love too. <laughs> yes, they have an entire line for men. They have like an exfoliating wash. So men's skin is different naturally, right? So it's thicker than female skin. It has different needs than female skin. It tends to be more oily than female skin. Um, so yeah, so they have the exfoliating wash. They have a toner. 
they have um an aftershave they have like a cooling aftershave cream and they have a body wash they have a body bar they have like an entire men's line so whatever you need they're also coming out with a deodorant wow. for men um and we're also coming out with a female deodorant so that's coming Ooh. soon yeah so and it's gonna be I, aluminum free right probably what the deodorant is probably all like aluminum free because that's the latest okay. clean beauty craze Totally. Yeah. And you have to go through detox, but you should definitely do it. It's worth it. We're supposed to sweat. Like sweating helps get rid of heavy metals in the body, toxins in the body. And with all of these, this aluminum and this antiperspirant, like people aren't sweating and it's not good for you. You want to sweat. So yeah. it's worth getting a detox. I'm sending out detox kits. So if anybody's mm -hmm. interested in detoxing your armpits, it's definitely the way to go. And, Allison, and, 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 sorry, I'm giving a shout and to my friend. No, <laughs> and, and then you can move on to a natural deodorant. So I think that um, that's a really big, a big thing to do nowadays. I think it's really important to oh have a big sweat. Wow. So I'm going to jump right into my favorite product that Beauty Counter has ever launched ever. So I think that after going through all those regimens, and it's really important to use a regimen, but I think that going into this next pro product is going to be a game changer for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. So this product here has been my, my game changer in my life. So they launched this about a month ago. No, it's been two months now. So two months ago. Yes. The Albright C Serum. It is amazing. So this Albright C Serum has changed my life because I had dark spots, um, age spots, which we all suffer from, right? Unless you're like super lucky. But um, I had age spots and I had hyperpigmentation from acne from, um, I had an IUD put in and had a lot of acne. And so I had a lot of hyperpigmentation and this has tremendously helped my skin. It's just amazing. So what does it do? It has 10% potent vitamin C in it. So the difference of this versus another brightener vitamin C on the market is number one price. So the number one, the average price of a product like this on the shelves for this size bottle is um, $166. So this bottle is $79. Um, so it's priced really well. It's in glass again. And it has a 10% vitamin C potency, so that won't change. The difference of ours versus others also, obviously safety. But second, most of them, and it's funny that I say this because I had a bunch of people check their bottles and they found out it was true. Most of them have something called L-ascorbic acid in it. L-ascorbic uh -huh. acid is great for a brightener. However, it diminishes its efficiency over its shelf life. So the second you start using it, that efficiency starts losing right away. So that's not good. You don't want it to be, you know, diminishing its efficiency over time. So ours stays potent throughout its entire shelf life. Wow. We have things in it like uh, turmeric that will help soothe the skin. It prevents against um, future uh, environmental stressors. And, you know, turmeric is a natural um, anti-inflammatory. So it helps soothe Ooh. and calm the skin. Um, so yes, we have, it's a 10% potent vitamin C mix from Japan and it's so worth the money. If you have any dark spots, any uneven tones, anything at all like that is so, so worth the money. Who um, would not find like any benefit to using that? What'd you say? Who, like, it sounds like anybody could use it, but are there certain people who like just wouldn't see a difference that you can think of out of curiosity? You know, maybe like a 13-year-old who has no acne at all, who hasn't okay. really been like sun tanning or, mm -hmm. you know, so maybe like a really young person who hasn't been okay. like outside enough um, yeah. to, you know, so this is like great for dullness of the skin. It's great for, oh. you know, like even if you just have like a little bit of like dullness and you want to like shine a little bit, this will help you do that. So anything, freckles, go ahead. How often do you go using that? Is that an everyday thing or could you use it like a once few times? a day in the morning. Okay. Yep. And so once a day. So I've had this bottle for like 10 weeks and I still have a ton of products. Like I can't see it, but if I were to guess, it's still like literally like three fourths full. Mm -hmm. So it's going to last me a really, really long time. So I'm really excited about the long-term benefits since I've only been using it for 10 weeks. And I saw a difference after three days. 
So yeah. it was like the wow. most, um, the biggest performance that I've seen that quick, you know, like mm-hmm. I, it usually takes like four to five weeks to yes. see like a tremendous change in your skin. This mm-hmm. was three days and I was seeing results. I was amazed. Was that the that first, was the first that. item you tried or? Or was oh, it no, no, no. I've been with the company for two years. So this just yeah. launched like eight weeks ago. So um, yeah, it's it's been a game changer for me though. And my my favorite product they've ever launched since I've been with the company. So wow. big, big favorite. Um, so we already talked about the charcoal mask. So I'll also um, talk about the peel. The peel yeah. is a favorite of mine. How many times have you used it? Have you used it? I just started using it because okay. I... I know that on the description, it says that it may tingle. Me having yeah. sensitive skin, it tingled. So it also said to go using it, like kind of gradually bring it into your routine. Yeah. So this past week, I did it once. I'm probably going to do twice next week and go yeah. from there. But uh, it definitely, I saw benefits happening. Couldn't really quite figure out what it was, but but I noticed something. Yeah, so um, this has a lot of botanical acids in it. It's really good for exfoliating the skin. So even though you can't feel that it's exfoliating the skin, it is overnight. So it has a really high skin cell turnover rate. Um, Mm -hmm. So it has great benefits as you use it. You might even notice the first time you use it and you wake up in the morning, you might have little like white kind of dots on your face or like um sometimes you can see like some blackheads coming to the surface you want to exfoliate your face the next morning and then you keep using it and that stuff is going to come out that's stuff that's just been like hidden under your skin layers for who knows how long so it's really beneficial to keep using it you'll eventually keep peeling layers of skin dead skin off that makes your skin glow so um, you want really glowing skin. These two are a great pair to have for sure. The peel and the sunshine in a bottle. So if you go using this, would you say it's good for blackheads? Yeah, for sure. Pores too. Yeah. Pores, blackheads. Yes. Acne, acne scars, um, anything, any kind of imperfection on your skin, any kind of scar. If you had surgery before, it will help with that. Mm-hmm. Um, it's just really good at evening your skin tone in general. So okay. I'm a huge fan, huge fan of the peel. It's one of our top sellers. We have a question. Sure. My friend Allison wants to know what's the difference between a peel and a mask? So, okay. So our peel is a little bit different. So our peel is actually a no peel peel. Um, the reason we call it a peel is, you know, you can buy those peels that like you have to sit there and like really like yes. peel oh. it off. I don't like that. It grosses me out and I just don't like that. Um, So this is actually a a no peel peel. But the reason we call it a peel is because as you're sleeping at nighttime, you leave it on overnight and it's essentially peeling off like dead skin cells and skin that we just stuff that we just don't need as we sleep. So it's Mm -hmm. doing the work for you overnight. And you wake up and you exfoliate your face and it and it just sheds those layers of skin that you just don't need. So um, yeah. Did I answer your question? The mask is more like a treatment, like, and, and it's for different things. The mask that we sell is for balancing oils, um, shrinking pore size. It's not really going to do much for scars. It's going to neutralize oils um, and get rid of, you know, shrink pores and blackheads and acne. It's a great spot treatment too. So mm-hmm. I'll be, you know, spot treating my acne with this as well. Um, so the mask is a 10 minute treatment. You put it on, you wash it off with a washcloth. The peel you leave on overnight. Does that answer her question? Yes. And then with the peel, do you use it in replacement of a serum in your night regimen? Yeah. Or like, you still but use the moisturizer it. though. You still use a moisturizer. So you okay. wait three to five minutes and then put a moisturizer moisturizer on your skin. And you still tone prior. Yep. yep. Yeah. Okay. Just replace okay. it with the treat or serum set. Okay. If, so if there's a treat set, so, you know, not to confuse you, but in this counter control line, there's no serum. Um, oh. There's an acne treatment, which is kind of like a serum, but it's not considered that. It's actually like a treatment. It's not a serum. So um, you actually would replace this with the um, peel in that step. Okay. And this is now like your, your treatment step. Um, Got it. So you replace... 
you know, since this line doesn't have a serum, you'd replace it here. In the in the counter timeline, you would replace the serum, which is this guy back here. So you'd replace the serum with the peel. And okay. in your counter match, I don't have the serum because I'm out of it, but in your counter match, you'd replace the intense serum with the peel. Okay. Makes Got sense. Got it. Yes. Yeah. And Perfect. that helped everybody with that, obviously. I had people being like, okay, I got like 17 products delivered to my house. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right Oh, it's a learning curve for everybody. It's a learning curve. I mean, I honestly didn't have a regimen going until I started getting hooked on you guys. So, yeah. <laughs> and right. you and regimen's good. You need all the steps. You need a four step process for your face. It sounds crazy, mm -hmm. but you really do need that. There's so many benefits to cleansing, mm -hmm. prepping your skin, yeah. treating your skin, and then moisturizing your skin. Not mm -hmm. to mention I mean, eye cream. It blows That's your stuff. mind. Like, I posted yeah, pictures like, from when I started. Face. And like I had an acne-ish forehead and my skin was just so dull. And then like even within 24 hours of using, like I did kind of see the brightening effect. And I was kind of like, wow, this is cool. And then, you know, as time went on, I specifically noticed the um, the dark circles because I frequently have those because I'm terrible in the sleeping area. Is it a week? Night? My friend is asking, is it a nightly or a weekly regimen? For the most part, everything is daily. But there's just certain and things that you Maybe she means the peel. Oh. Maybe she means the peel. If she means the peel, you do that about one to three times a week. It's up to you. Some people do it once a week. It's safe. Obviously, it's safe to use every night if you want. And people that don't have sensitive skin can get away with using it every night. I have sensitive skin, so the max I can do is two times a week. Okay. Um, because it really does a great job exfoliating. Is that what she meant? I think so. And then if you were to go using the charcoal mask... Would you ever do that on the same day as a peel or do you rotate it? So I have done it on the same day. Um, I will say my face got a little too tingly, itchy for my liking. Um, okay. I, I combined both and the peel actually, you know, it's working when it gives you a little tingling effect. So it will have a little bit of a tingling effect. It doesn't hurt, but it does give you a no. little tingle. It will not be red. It. it will not be irritated. But it's there's a tingle effect there. Um, so then, well, when did I, you say that they were like, sorry, there's that there's a delay, so I feel like I'm being so rude. Oh my god! But there's like ten or twelve acids in the peel, right? Is it yeah. that many? Yeah. Okay, so that's that, yep. why. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. So exactly. Yeah. So there's a tingle effect to that, and if you use the charcoal mask after that. The charcoal mask is drying when you put it on, so it just is not a good combination. I wouldn't do it the same night. Yeah, yeah. So, so I'm curious about some of the makeup okay. that beauty counter. Tell us about that. Do makeup. So, as you can see, I have a ton of stuff. Oh wow! Uh, yeah, I just have like almost every color of things. Oh, Molly. I'd like we to read the closet. closet. <laughs> yeah. I know, right? I love it. I mean, you know, the best part about doing this business is I can own all of this and just be like, honey, I, I have to have this. This is my, my business. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, what do you yeah. want me to do? Um, <laughs> tax write off? I mean, come on. Who doesn't want to write off their beauty products, right? Fuck yeah. <laughs> so, um, so what I have to say about our makeup is that it is triple milled, which if you know anything about makeup and powders, that means that it's really good. Triple milled makeup means that it's super pigmented and you don't have to use a lot of product to get results. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to brighten up my room because it got darker outside. So we're going to brighten this up. So what I'm going to show you is um, one of my favorite makeup palettes. It's called Classic. Mm -hmm. you can oh, wow. That's so neutral. I love it. This palette. This is my oh. favorite palette. So oh. when you go to Sephora, how much is a typical makeup palette? Like Naked. Everybody oh, wow. knows the Naked brand, right? Um, yes. It's $50, right? So uh -huh. our prices are competitive with Sephora. If you shop at like, you know, Target, which is there's nothing wrong with Target or Walmart for your makeup or anything like that, mm -hmm. you're you're gonna be a little bit like, oh, okay, it's a little bit more expensive. But if you shop at Sephora, we're very competitive with Sephora prices. So you won't be sick mm -hmm. of that. So this is $50 for this palette. Now I'm telling you, I've had this since the day I signed up. 
So I've had the two years. Yes, two years. So, so you weren't kidding. Pigmentation no. and it lasting. Exactly. So it's kind wow. of like comfy, right? You guys won't have to repurchase from me. It's not a good thing. But I'm gonna show you my favorite color for fall. It's sienna. It's the orange one over there. And okay. It's kind of like a rust type look. So I'm just gonna literally dab. I don't know if you can see this with my finger. I haven't touched it yet. I'm gonna go like this with my finger. And then I'm gonna put it on my eye. Like, look how much color it already has. And I haven't even done anything. I've just dabbed it with my finger and then swiped it. So it's so much color, like so easily on your eyelid. I'm um, jaw dropped. <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna do it again with the white because the white's my favorite. So the ivory right in the middle, literally tap, swipe, look how much color. And then I'm going to do it on my eyebrow. Like so much color in just one tiny dab. And it okay. looks like, okay, like yeah, fine. fine. Just use and I don't brush, but I'm just showing you how easy it is to apply. And this will stay on all day. So um, that, that really blows my mind because that blows my mind. Cause I've used like Maybelline brands for eyeshadow and like, you have to keep going at it. Yes, yes. And you're like, do I even have anything on my brush? Like, I don't understand what's happening. But exactly. it, I mean, it's just so pigmented and so easy to apply. It's so smooth. Um, another thing with makeup during formulation, they usually get heavy metals in them because that's what happens when you formulate makeup. So we mm -hmm. post test every single batch of makeup that we ever develop for heavy metals. So we swap each one. We take samples of to make sure that there's no heavy metals from formulating the product. So that's how far mm -hmm. we go with makeup as well. Um, wow. So again, so these are um, triple milled makeup, super pigmented, super long lasting. My next favorite is the classic, or I'm sorry, the romantic. Mm -hmm. I just showed Ooh. you the classic. This is the romantic. It's very pretty. It has the pinks, the black, the light pinks, the ivories. Um, yeah. just a very pretty palette for mm -hmm. people, especially with hazel eyes. I have hazel eyes, so this works really well for me. Um, the middle one is like a glitter overtone, so it just kind of gives you a little shimmer. <gasps> so oh my I, gosh. You just put it like right at the eyelash, um, and it gives you a lot of color. So, um, Holy moly. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm just doing this with my finger. Imagine what you can do with a brush, right? So I, I love our eyeshadow palettes. Love them. Moving I, on, because we've said a lot about eye our eyeshadow. Let's, let's see how many times. times I'm just like staring at you jaw dropped. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm like, Amy, just take my freaking money at this point. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to show you something else. Let's get that draw drop, drop because I'm going to show you the blush does the same thing. So I love this color. This is Date. Mm -hmm. um, it's great for fall. It's like a reddish orange. And again, I'm going to take a brush to this one, but mm -hmm. I'm going to tap, tap, if you saw that. And I'm going to literally just go, and it's going to be a lot of color, so it's going to be loud, okay? Be ready for the loudness. So I'm okay. going to go tap, tap, tap. I mean, like, you can already see so much color. And, you know, I'm not even touching it. I'm like, no. I'm wiping. So, like, these products will last you a really long time. Again, I just dabbed, so I'm going to do another thing here. I mean, just so much color in just a tiny little dab. So, um, you know, and you can blend. It blends really nice. Um, and I I really, really, really love our blushes, too. We have a bunch of colors. So super wow. nice blush, very pigmented. Love it. Um so then the other thing, we have, of course, like highlighters, too, because those are super trendy. Again, yeah. I've had this since the day I signed up. So it is starting to wear. This is yeah. Halo. It's a highlighter. Um, mm -hmm. And it gives you an extra glow to your, like, up here to, like, above your cheekbones. I didn't mm -hmm. apply any product yet, so I'm going to do that now. Um, you could see it more, like, in the daylight, so I'm not sure with this lighting how much you're going to see, but you kind of go like that and you see the halo the shimmer? You see, yep a little tiny shimmer 
little whiteness happening there. And when you're outside and it's in the sun, it just really reflects off the high parts of your face. So you want to put it like here, here, here on both sides. So is that like contouring, but not having to use all that extra crap that people go using on their face? Like, have you ever seen yeah. some of those like super extra makeup models where it's like hardcore? They put like, oh my gosh, yes. that's so cool. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's super simple. Comes in cream. We also have cream. Um, we have cream blushes and we have cream uh, highlighters like that too, and they come in different mm -hmm. colors. So. Um, another thing that's really great is that we have our brand new super chic, um, lip shears. Ooh. They're really, really nice. I'm going to show you this color. So what's great about our lipsticks or our lip shears is that, let me put you up here. Hopefully I don't hang up or anything or it's okay. break my You're computer. Okay. Oh, um, no. <laughs> so it has organic vanilla in it and it conditions your lips. So it's going to substitute any um, chapstick that you have. So you're gonna be using this instead of chapstick um, because this will give you color, but it also will condition your lips so you don't have to use both. What the is that cool called again? About it, uh, this is the sheer lipstick. Okay. Uh, so it has a magnetic close to it, which is really cool. So my kids wanted to play with us. I was like, uh-uh, you're not playing with that. So it's a magnetic closure, and I think that's really cool. Um, organic vanilla, responsibly sourced vanilla, mm -hmm. super hydrating, super pigmented. You'll have this forever. Um, definitely worth the money. And so, see, it's very pigmented. I, I barely put that on, and I already have yeah. a lipstick on. Um, so it's yeah. great. It, lasts. it feels good. It smells good. It tastes good. Mm -hmm. No hard time no lead most lipsticks have lead in them which is just like not okay um so definitely check these out we also launched our brand new lip shears i mean brand new lip shears that was lip shears beyond gloss they are super trendy looking like look at this bottle it's like so cool um i'm such a nerd i got these and i was like so obsessed my husband's like <laughs> I don't understand. I'm like, this is why you're a man, right? You just don't understand these things. They don't. They don't. <laughs> so I really love the packaging of this. It's very wow. Pretty. So it's called Beyond Gloss. It actually reflects off the light really, really well and gives you Beyond Gloss. Like it's glossy. So if you're looking mm -hmm. for a gloss that really shines, our Beyond yeah. Glosses are awesome. How long does it stay on for? How long are they saying that you have to go reapplying? So, you know, it just depends. I mean, lip gloss is not going to stay on, like, you know, yeah. your lip gloss doesn't stay on for forever. But I'd say yeah. I get a good, like, two hours out of a lip gloss. Okay. Um, unless okay. I'm, like, eating dinner and, like, you know, drinking wine and stuff, it'll come off on the glass. Lip gloss is lip gloss, right? But but you yeah. can, um, it, you barely have to use any product to get the glow factor. So I really like that about our lip glosses. And it feels wow. good. Sticky, who wants sticky lip gloss? Right? Yeah, yes. Uh, so, w one thing that I will want I want to point out um, with our makeup is our skin twin foundation. So, this skin twin foundation is another favorite of mine. I'm trying to get that to focus a little bit better. There we go. Um, so, skin twin, we have 18 shades of this. You can get help through picking your color through me or also through the app. You can use the Beauty Counter app and go out in the sunlight and use your camera on your forearm. And it will oh. tell you what skin tone they think you should be at. So um, it's a really That's nice awesome. Tone. Yeah. So this wow. skin tone, what's so special about it? It has a ton of hyaluronic acid in it. A ton. And what that does is it hydrates your skin. So it's a foundation that is a feather weight. We call it feather weight foundation. It's super light. So people don't like foundation sometimes because it feels heavy. This is yeah. not a heavy foundation at all. Um, so I definitely recommend trying this foundation, even if you're not a foundation person. Um, it has a ton of hyaluronic acid. It feels like lotion on the skin. Mm -hmm. So it's super, super light. I already have the makeup on, so I can't really, I mean, like, you're not going to see it if I show you, but yeah. um, it's a pump. You only need one or two pumps for your entire face. And mm -hmm. um, I, I really love how it feels like lotion on your skin. And it also plumps the skin instantly. 
So it will instantly oh. plump your skin, getting rid of fine lines and wrinkles instantly on the spot. So I, I love that. Um, make Should you use glow. a primer with that at I all? I don't. But, you know, if you're okay. a primer person, you sure can. Um, what yeah. we do have is sometimes I use, if I like want makeup to stay on all day long, including my eyeshadow, I use this yes. mattifying powder. And it's literally white. I mean, it just looks like white powder. Um, but you mm -hmm. can't see it when you put it on your skin. It doesn't look white. But it will get rid yeah. of oil. Um, and you can also use it as a primer to keep your skin, like, looking flawless all day long. Oil-free and makeup on all day long. So you can use it on your eyes, too. But we have an eye concealer that I use as my primer on my eyelids. Oh, so. wow. So Flawless and Five is one last thing I want to talk about. Flawless and Five is a customizable uh, makeup regimen that if you're like, I want to go all in and get rid of my lead makeup that is crap and has, you know, phthalates and parabens and, you know, hormone yeah. disruptors, I want to break up with my makeup. And you want to go with Flawless and Five. You can go with Flawless and Five and get the most bang for your buck. So you get six products that you get to choose the colors of for $150. So it's a really good deal. Um, you can choose the Skin Twin foundation or the Dew Skin. The Dew Skin uh. is a tinted moisturizer, kind of like a BB cream, but I hate comparing it to that. I love um, it. Dew Skin, tinted moisturizer, SPF, um, I need mm -hmm. foundation. I need a little bit more coverage, but this is great. You can choose one of these items. Mm -hmm. Then move on to oh. the eye concealer. So you just put that under your eyes and above your eyes if you want. It also has anti-aging properties, so it will help with fine lines and wrinkles and tighten the skin. Then you choose the eyebrow pencil or mm -hmm. the eyebrow gel. I am a pencil person. I like the more precision of strokes versus a gel. But yeah. people like the gel. It's kind of a personal preference. Mm -hmm. I also like that our um, eyebrow pencil comes with a brush at the end so that you can brush on the spot instead of having to carry a brush wherever you are. Mm -hmm. Then you choose your mascara, whether you want lengthening or volumizing, and I like the length. Mm -hmm. I like the volumizing better. Um, I think that it it gives you more um, volume and lift, so I like that better. And then you get to choose your blush color, whatever color that may be for your skin tone, and you get to pick mm -hmm. your lip gloss. And it is the Beyond gloss, so it's not. This is the old packaging. Um, it okay. is the new packaging you would receive. So we also what? give recommendations. If you're like, I don't know what color blush to use. I don't know what color lip gloss. We give you recommendations based on the skin tone um, foundation that you picked. So it will tell you, we think right. with this, you know, skin foundation color, you should use this blush and this lip gloss. So, wow. So many options. Questions. Cause that was a lot. So many options. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I love it. So what yeah. are your thoughts on, you guys also have, um, are you guys still doing shampoo and conditioner? Is that a bye-bye item? So no, we used to have like volumizing and um, for thin hair and we used to have all this other stuff, but we just have a daily shampoo and conditioner, which okay. I don't have. I, I like it, but I have like color hair and I feel like I need something color treated. This is me yeah. being totally transparent because yeah. I, Beauty Counter is all about transparency so for me, it I just it just didn't work for my hair. Now we have a mm -hmm. daily shampoo and conditioner that I use on my kids. We have kids shampoo, we have baby shampoo, we have a whole baby line, we have a whole kids line. Um, I use that on all of my children, like all of them. And the daily shampoo and conditioner, most of my clients use it on their like teenage daughters, and it works wonderful because mm -hmm. they don't color their hair. They don't, yeah. and it's not going to ruin your colored hair. It just won't. I need something that keeps my hair brown for as long as I can keep it brown so that I'm not turning gray. And so I'm not saying that it strips the color, but I know something that protects it's that tough. So it's tough. It's color tree shampoos and conditioners, mm -hmm. and I need those. Um, so for like teenagers, I think the shampoo and conditioner is great. Mm -hmm. What about the body lotion? 
So I love the body balm. So the melting body balm is like, oh my gosh, amazing. So it's super smooth on your skin. It smells like vacation is the best way I can describe it. Um, the beach. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like that Minoy, you know, or however you say it. It's like super yeah. vacation smelling. I love it. Um, and you put it like anywhere that's super dry on your body. I use it on my kids' cheeks or um, their eczema spots. If they get any, I put it on there. Um, mm -hmm. so the melting body balm, way to go. We also have hydrating citrus mimosa, it is. Um, mm -hmm. That lotion is for like everyday use, you know, like you mm -hmm. don't. You know, I put the melting balm on like my hands and my feet and like my elbows that get really dry in the winter. And then like the citrus Vaseline? Vaseline substitution, would you say? Say it again. Sorry, would you say that it's like a Vaseline substitution, probably? Definitely. Or I mean, okay. but it's not as oily as a Vaseline. Like, um, okay. you know, Vaseline kind of leaves your skin like really shiny, oily. It's not mm. more, Vaseline. it's more like of a coconut oil type feel, which is okay. still kind of like Vaseline, but a little bit not as like thick. Okay. If that makes sense. Wow. What is, I've been making lists of stuff throughout this whole thing. <laughs> what was the name of that one again? I'm sorry. Body balm. Okay. So good, especially for winter coming up. Yeah. I'm trying yeah. to think. What so isn't there, um going back to like the Counter Plus collection, isn't there like some type of oil, like some type of cleanser of sorts that's kind of oily? What is that? So they're not cleansers, they're oils. Okay. Um, so we have three different kinds. This is the new bottle of the number one oil. It, like I said, we just remodeled all of them to be glass. Um, mm -hmm. these, they actually were glass, but we re remodeled them. So they're one, two, and three, numbers one, two, and three. And mm -hmm. number one is for brightening skin. It smells like oranges. Um, so it comes in a syringe that you literally just drop a couple drops of oil on your face. And you rub it in and it instantly creates a glowing effect on your skin. Um, now, I, have, I have makeup on, so, you know, I don't know what it's going to do. I never apply it after my makeup, but like you put it on your skin and I don't know if it's going to give you an extra glow. It kind of gives you like a dewy, dewy glow. Some people use it as a makeup primer. Um, I guess you can kind of see the glow oh. there, huh? So, hmm. um it's really nice. And I have oily skin. So people are like, I don't want to apply oil to my skin. Well, if you have oily skin, the number one oil probably wouldn't be the best for you to use. What you mm -hmm. want to use, number three oil. So the number three oil, you could tell I use it because I keep it in my purse. It's so funny. So it's like worn out because I keep it in my purse. Um, so the number three oil, I put it on like twice a day because I love it so much. It actually makes your skin um, balance. So anything with the number three with our products makes your skin balanced. So if you have like combination skin or oily skin, this will make your skin really balanced throughout the day. It will physically change the properties in your skin to make the oils like pH balanced. Um, mm -hmm. so that you're not like super oily or super dry throughout the day. So yeah. love the number three oil. The number two oil is for aging purposes. So fine lines, wrinkles, um, this is an additive to your regimen that you can use um, to help prevent aging or to cure aging. So, How is that different from the Counter Match Collection? No, not the Counter, the uh, Counter Time. Like, how is that so you different? Use it in conjunction with Counter Time. So you would actually okay. put a couple drops of it into your serum. Into oh. your serum. Some people put it into their moisturizer for Counter Time. Oh, Wow. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Such an assortment of items. It's it's insane. Like, I mean, you guys really have a collection. Yes, we do. We definitely do. Oh I have like everything. <laughs> Clearly. Oh my gosh. I love, you know, visuals and all that stuff. Oh, I love yeah. it. Two years. After two years, you start getting a really big collection. So <laughs> So what's the deal with, would you say that the counter start line is for like the teens and the youngsters or what yeah, is so that? We don't own that line. It's new. Um, so oh, I it is. It. Um, okay. Yeah, I thought it was older. It just came out with this in July. 
Um, and so I don't own it yet, but it is a two-step process, simple process for people who are like, I do not want four or five steps. I'll never do it. Um, I have sensitive skin. I'm not worried. I don't have wrinkles. I don't have age spots. I don't have, you know, dryness or oily skin or anything like that. Um, yeah. just help me wash and cleanse my face. That would be the line for you. So it's not really going to prevent aging. It's not going to get rid of wrinkles, but it's a benign cleanser and moisturizer that's under $50. It's a great replacement for people who are using Cetaphil who, that has parabens in it. Oh, gosh. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So um, what about using Cetaphil and your P the pediatrician said, use Cetaphil. Don't do that. There's parabens. It's, it's a hormone disruptor. It's terrible, especially for females. Um, just get on Counterstar. It's it's relatively the same price. You might be spending five dollars more per bottle, but it's well worth the price for that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Once you really start digging into the ingredients, it's, it's insane what is allowed in mm -hmm. items: carcinogens, hormone disruptors, endocrine disruptors. It's just ridiculous. And uh, yes. it, uh, it's insane. And Beauty Counters, who we're speaking to, one of the cleanest companies on the market. Oh, my gosh. And you will see results once you go switching to different ingredients. And I saw you have such a variety of SPF, like not SPF specifically, but like sunscreen. Yes, we have a lot of sunscreen options. So we have sprays. Um, we have face specific ones, which I'll show you the face specific and the spray. Um, <laughs> So we have tinted sunscreen as well. So you can pick mm -hmm. your color um, sunscreen so that you kind of, your legs will look like you have makeup on a little bit. Um, mm -hmm. People won't know that, but you'll just look like you have like beautiful legs. So if you want to cover up some veins or some cellulite or something like that, then yeah. you can get tinted sunscreen. It's really nice. We also have just regular lotion, mineral sunscreen, which as you can see, I use a ton of because the bottle mm -hmm. is like, you know, whatever. So I use this even on my kids. This is great for the whole family. Um, this face sunscreen is wonderful for your face. I put this on every day. It's meant for an everyday daily sunscreen use. Um, and then we also have after sun care. So if your kids or you, my husband actually got a really bad burn recently and he used this and he said it was awesome. It's like aloe gel, but okay. safer. Oh, wow. Okay. Yep. We also have sticks. I don't own the sticks, but we have sunscreen sticks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you. Re I mean, SPF is so important, especially for anybody who, you know, is trying to prevent aging. I mean, that's the one thing that we know 100% will help you from not getting older. Right. Even though you will get old eventually, but. <laughs> right. We help. I love it. <laughs> that's for sure. And then, I mean, really, Beauty Counter covers everything. I think I saw you guys even have, like, a bar soap. And yes. so, you know, body wash and all that. So, I mean, really, you could just go one-stop shop, essentially. Oh, yeah. For your entire, we're an entire skincare cosmetic industry. So, mm -hmm. yeah, for sure. So, um, of course, definitely check out the items. And why don't you tell them really quick about Band of Beauty? What is that? Because, you know, you see it on the so website. Yeah, so if you become a Band of Beauty member, which right now anybody who purchases anything over $150 to the end of the month, I'm honoring the Band of Beauty. So I will pay the $29 on your behalf um, to because I just really want you to trust these products and love them, fall in love with them, and really get to know them. So it will get you free shipping. It will get you this large charcoal mask. So the free $49 full-size charcoal mask Wow! and 10% product credit towards your next purchase. So that's what Band of Beauty is. And it doesn't do auto shipment. It's not going to harass you and tell you you need to spend X amount of dollars. It's not mm -hmm. going to tell you, you know, oh, in two months, products are going to be knocking at your door and you're going to be automatically charged. It doesn't auto renew. So mm -hmm. none of the bad stuff about memberships happens yeah. with our membership. Yeah, and I definitely am a fan of the product credit. That's fun. So pretty much, you know, every time you, you do an order, a certain percentage of that comes back to you essentially for your next purchase. Yes, and sometimes we do double credits. So right now we have a promo that ends tonight. But 
um, that you get extra product credit, but we also have, um, we also have, sometimes we just say double product credit for the week. So then you'll get 20% back in product credit. Holy moly. Yeah. That ends so tonight, huh? Love that promo. Oh, love it. Oh, blast. <laughs> Once or twice a year. Oh, so yeah, people, yeah. now's your time. <laughs> so I love it. And then, you know, obviously, if people are interested in finding out more about Beauty Counter, where can they go? How can they contact you? All that fun stuff. So, um, you know, you can definitely contact me on my cell phone. You can, Natalie, I'll post on um, our page, like my contact information, my email address. <laughs> Um, you can go to, you know, if you just want to join the team, you can go to beautycounter.com slash Amy Varselli, and there's a join button on the top um, of the screen you'll see. Um, you can also find me on Facebook, um, which, you know, I'm in that group. Um, mm -hmm. So you can definitely find me on Facebook. And then I also have a group page called Be In The Know with Beauty Counter. I talk about all kinds of things on there. Yesterday, I did a demonstration about how to make hand soap. Um, I loved it. Little mason jars. So I, I did talk about candles and safety of candles. I've done the research on this. So you don't have to redo it. You can just join my page, be in the know with Beauty Counter, and you can find out some good stuff for home tips of safety and your health. And in general, just post random things about like wool dryer balls and the toxicity of, you know, dryer sheets and laundry detergent and all kinds of stuff. Yeah, fun stuff oh on that. Oh my, how long ago did you post something about that? I'm gonna have to go checking that out. I'm curious well, now. Soap I just posted yesterday. I did a video of making soap yesterday. But the laundry detergent video, gosh, you're gonna have to go way back. That was probably like three or four, five months ago. Um, oh my so I God. Might have to do a new one. <laughs> I'll have to go digging for it. Once again, this okay. is Beauty Counter, and this is Amy Varselli. She is my personal consultant, and she's amazing. She's taught me so much. And seriously, you will see a difference when you switch to cleaner beauty. Like, I have been using these products for about a month now, and I've posted my, like, before and, like, my fairly recent picture, and it's just insane. I mean, even you saw it. You were spotting things out to me yeah. that I didn't even see. So, I mean, if you think it's a gimmick, once again, I'm one of those people where, you know, I'll be like, okay, they're full of it or whatever. You know, there's certain things that you hear about, like toners. I'm, I'm past that whole thing. I'm, I'm, I'm a fan. But um, really, make the switch. You'll be so happy you did. And, um, yeah, thank you so much for doing this. I really appreciate it. I learned oh, a lot. I have, I have all my chicken scratch here of notes. <laughs> and I hope that everybody did, too. Thank you so much. Thank mm -hmm. you. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Good night.